Hey guys, uh, how are we doing? This is Sam here with uh, yet another video on uh, Sam's uh, WAS um, administration series. So in this video, we are going to uh, see how to install uh, installation manager, IBM installation manager. And uh, let's you know get started with this. So before you know um, seeing the hands-on, I'll I'll tell you how to you know download this uh, IBM installation manager binary files from IBM's website. So you know uh, hit to uh, hit the Google uh, website and then search for IBM India and uh, open up the website. So it, it is essential that uh, you should uh, have uh, an IBM account. Uh, you must possess uh, an IBM ID for that. Um, it's free. Uh, you can register yourself. Uh, if you have you know time for that uh, please uh, go ahead and you know do it i'm not gonna cover it in this video due to you know time constraints so once you are there i want you to you know search for uh, ibm installation manager so let's do it installation manager and here we are we hit the page results so let's open up the very first uh, result and uh, I'm hoping that it, it's gonna give us a list yeah here it is uh, so these are the you know supported uh, OS versions and uh, other things let's go with the you know latest one 1.8.6 and uh, here we are on a new page and uh, it has got all sort of you know documentation and uh, things like that so here we have something called as download package and uh, FC link click on that FC link and uh, it's gonna show me this OS section I'm gonna stick with uh, Linux since uh, uh, the entire hands-on will be you know done on RHEL 7.2 so let's go for uh, Linux this time and based on your you know OS uh, you can you can select uh, whichever is you know applicable uh, to your case so I'm gonna start with the latest one latest uh, refresh pack and uh, let me tell you something uh, we are not going to you know download it uh, we will be you know completely uh, what do you call uh, dealing with uh, cli mode command line installation and so on so we have no gui sessions on this course reason is you know pretty simple guys uh, uh, gui anybody can do it and um, uh, in a corporate environment or um, uh, in your company you will never uh, deal with uh, guis it's always you know cli's 99 percentage of the uh, you know time so we are going to you know concentrate on um, you know CLI mode installation and this is essential and um, the thing which I wanted to tell you is this we are not gonna you know stick with um, download director of which uh, requests Java and this is completely for what you call a GUI we are going to set uh, you know go with uh, HTTPS download so select this option and then um, click on continue so at this point uh, I'm expecting that you have already logged into you know IBM with your own uh, you know uh, registration details and it, it, IBM will never allow you to you know download this without um, uh, you know registering uh, into their website you must have uh, a registration done on uh, IBM portal so feel free to do it and here we are this is the installation link uh, it's almost like a 164 uh, MB uh, what I'm gonna do is right click on it and uh, copy the link address and now let me you know fire up my uh, RHEL uh, uh, host so this is my RHEL uh, uh, box guys uh, this is uh, an EC2 instance running out of my uh, uh, AWS account uh, you know throughout the entire course I'm, I'm planning to you know use this um, terminal I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna you know stick with this EC2 uh, virtual machine so once you are into this i mean in in case if you are wondering how to do it um you know you can you can uh, head over to my uh, playlist section i've got an entire course uh, dedicated for uh, uh, aws uh, platform um, i'm gonna you know add uh, certain uh, videos to this playlist as well how to create an aws account and how to uh, get an ec2 instance and uh, this is free of course guys so that's that and uh, uh, let, let's you know move on to uh, the installation so once you are into this uh, terminal uh, let's uh, elevate our privileges to uh, root and uh, here I am 
and again uh, in a corporate environment in a typical corporate environment uh, you will never have access to root uh, uh, you know uh, privilege you will never have that privilege uh, might be something called as you know functional ids or uh, some other uh, less privileged uh, ids so in that case um, uh, as i said in the previous uh, uh, you know uh, video make sure that you are uh, sticking with that uh, you know certain commands there is a difference between um, root user commands and the non root user commands so make sure that um, you are aware of that situation but uh, throughout this course we are going to you know run this uh, with root uh, access so this is my uh, very first ec2 instance i mean it's it's a fresh one so what i'm going to do is uh, let me you know quickly navigate to temp location and then uh, let me make a directory over there let's call it as you know software and then let's navigate to that particular directory and do an ls minus ltr it it will be empty so we are planning to install uh, um, ibm installation manager onto this box so what i'm going to do is i'll have to download uh, the zip file which we have seen in the ibm website i have that link copied in my clipboard so let's uh, download this uh, before you know downloading it i i I'll, I'll tell you you know two methods uh, since this is you know cli you can go with a curl command or uh, you can go with a wget command i'm going to stick with wget for now and uh, let me make sure that uh, this box i mean this uh, rsl uh, virtual machine has got um, wget on it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type wget and that's it it says a uh, command not found so you know wget utility is not installed on this box so might be same with you guys um, if you have wget um, utility that's okay it, it, it's really you know cool if you have been uh, you know got this uh, utility on your uh, red hat box let's uh, you know go ahead and install it so i'm going to say um install wget minus y and it's it's going to you know connect to the uh, portal i mean a red hat portal and it, it's going to install this package from that uh, repository make sure that uh, your uh, red hat box or uh, the lab session box which you are you know planning to uh, do the hands on it has got uh, an internet connection so that's it guys i mean um, this is installed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say wget and uh, put the link which i have uh, copied from uh, ibm website and let's say enter so it's it's going to hit that uh, https uh, link it it will download it will initiate the download to the uh, temp software uh, location and uh, you can see the progress uh, here let's wait until uh, this is complete guys so here we are uh, the download is you know complete so let me quickly clear the screen and do an ls on this so we can see that uh, uh, ibm installation uh, manager uh, the zip file is here so let's uh, go ahead and you know uh, un, uh, extract this uh, zip file or uh, unzip this uh, zip file so for that we are going to need uh, unzip utility and the same drill guys make sure that uh, we have this uh, unzip utility i don't have it so i'm going to follow the same drill yum install unzip the utility name is unzip and then see minus y it's going to hit the repository and it's going to download this so this is installed unzip utility is installed let me quickly do this yeah and uh, what i'm going to do is let me see the a uh, package name it starts with agent okay so let's say unzip and then agent that's it guys so what it's going to do uh, it will extract all the contents to this uh, temp software uh, directory so this is the directory which i'm in let me clear the screen and uh, show you the present working directory it's a uh, temp software and i'm going to do an ls minus ltr on this so all the required files it it got uh, you know extracted here and the next thing is uh, you know we will have to install uh, ibm installation uh, manager start with uh, install c minus installation directory 
itu ada potret dan OPD IBM station manager dan Eclipse and I'll have to define this data location as uh, where IBM I'll have to accept license as well let's see how it goes so there it is guys I mean uh, we, we can see this uh, uh, message uh, from return from the data terminal it says um, uh, agent uh, is installed on OPT IBM installation manager Eclipse directory so let's quickly you know verify things got installed properly what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll have to navigate to CD OPT IBM installation manager and finally Eclipse make sure that all the files are there that's it guys I mean uh, that's how you install uh, IBM installation manager uh, to your um, uh, lab server um, this is running on RHEL 7.2 and I think I'll uh, let's stop this video here and uh, in, in our next video we are going to see how to install VASND uh, uh, 8.5.5 uh, using uh, IBM installation manager and uh, that's all guys uh, uh, that's all I have got for now guys uh, I'm gonna see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching the video have a good day